Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 16th, 2018. Now for this segment, I am going to talk a bit about prevailing conditions for the U.S. West that may result in continuing very high heat and potential record heat over the coming days. Now, what I'm looking at in this frame is the GFS model forecast, and I'm going to just go ahead and advance this model to show you what is expected according to GFS. And so we see over the coming days, temperatures in the West, in the hundreds, and in some cases into the, uh, the mid hundreds, exceeding 106 in some Central Valley locations on Tuesday and then again on Wednesday and this heat is expected to, to build up in the west as a high pressure cell settles in. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and also note some rather high heat in the central United States. These, these values are about 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit above normal so it may result in, in some records as well. If um, if these exceed predicted values, it, it could be a, a, a pretty serious event. And also out west, here again, temperatures by Thursday exceeding the mid-100s in many locations. Now, there is an upper-level high-pressure system starting to build up over the region, and this could help to spike temperatures again. So it's something that we want to look at. I'm also going to look at the anomalies just to show you how how much in the way of departures we're seeing through the region. So these are Fahrenheit. And so the reason why I'm focusing on the West is, as you can see, temperatures well exceed 10 degrees Fahrenheit above normal for many locations and, and 15 degrees Fahrenheit or above in, in a number of locations as well, approaching 20 degrees Fahrenheit above average in some situations. So, so what's going on? What's, what are the, the features that are leading to the potential for more extreme heat across the central US and the West? And primarily what we see are, is a very warm ocean zone off the US West Coast. And this is this is a climate change signal. Warming oceans are a, a serious contributing factor to both extreme temperatures on land and extreme rainfall events, both over the ocean and on land. And, and warming oceans is a key feature of climate change. During recent years, a feature emerged off the U.S. West Coast that was known as the Pacific Hot Blob. And this feature helped to establish a strong high pressure ridge over the U.S. West. And, and, and the feature emerged prior to a very powerful El Nino event during 2015 and 2016. Since we are transitioning from La Nina to an ENSO neutral state and a higher likelihood of El Nino come winter, we're looking at a similar feature off the U.S. West Coast at this time, although it's not quite as consolidated as the hot blob was during 2013 and 2014, but it still is including some rather high above average sea surface temperatures in the range of 1 to 3.5 degrees Celsius, 4 degrees Celsius or more in certain locations. And, and such warm surface waters do tend to aid and assist in the development of prevailing strong high pressure ridges at the surface and often translating into the upper atmosphere. Now these ridging features tend to enhance warmer than normal temperatures in the region and, and that's what we are seeing in the forecast. Now, I'd also like to look at some predicted heat index values. And by Thursday, we're expecting to see very high heat indexes 
in the range of 42 degrees Celsius, and this is a feel like, feels like temperature in the upper 100s, so very severe heating in these regions, very severe situation where it's difficult to, to stay cool, and also in Southern California, similar severe heat index conditions. And I'd also like to point out that severe heat indexes are also expected for the central U.S., and so everyone in these affected regions should stay tuned to local news and weather for, for heat advisories and tips from NOAA and, and other government agencies on how to stay cool in order to prevent heat injury and, and potential loss of life. Now, just to sum up, looks like the U.S. West Coast is looking for more severe above average temperatures and and I'd just like to add that that these above average temperatures are likely to translate well into North America and it's particularly along the west coast region and I'm going to show the model forecast further on so as as we move further on these warm temperatures telegraph up into British Columbia and into Alaska. So this is a feature that is worth looking at, not only for high temperatures, but for potentials for wildfires, especially in extreme northern locations. Now, thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. I will be chatting with you soon.